Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fixing Arsenal. In today's episode we're going to play Manchester City at the top of the Premier League. We've also got our opening Europa League tie against Dynamo Moscow but of course we've got some fixtures to review since the last time we met. So in the opening game of the season we had a pretty comfortable 3-0 home victory against Crystal Palace. We followed that up with a 3-1 away win against Norwich which wasn't so comfortable. Patrick Roberts actually put them in front nine minutes in and it took till the second half for us to really get going. Kolasinac equalised in the 54th minute and then Aubameyang got himself a brace as well in the 57th and 66th to give us the three points. We then had another comfortable game this time at home against Manchester United not playing so well Man United this season. We won Kolasinac with a goal from left wing back and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang with another. And the most disappointing result of the season so far is away from home against Wolves. Ruben Neves put them in front in the 59th minute and it took to the 89th for us to equalise. I was anticipating our first defeat of the season but thankfully Aubameyang it bailed us out again. And that leaves the Premier League table looking like this. We sit top level on points with Man City, West Ham and Liverpool. Only a point ahead of Sheffield United of course. Um, but now we've got Manchester City. We're away from home. It's going to be incredibly, incredibly difficult despite Aubameyang's electric form at the start of the season. Let's get into the match and see how we get on. Our lineup was basically picking itself at this moment in time. Um, Kieran Tierney has just returned from injury. He starts on the bench today. We'll probably look to get him some game time. How much are they recommending? About 45 minutes maximum. He'll probably come on for the final 10 or 15 minutes. But this is going to be the lineup. Burn Leno on goal. Malqui, Socrates, David Luiz in the defence with Lucas Torreira and Kolasinac in that defensive area with Matteo Guendouzi in the centre on his Todd. Nicholas Pepe on the right hand side with Mesut Ozil in behind Aubameyang and Lacazette. Now Lacazette isn't really performing particularly well. Um, the, whilst the team's performing well it's not an area of concern but maybe it's something we'll have to look at in terms of the tactic and the formation going forward. So we've only played twice away from home this season and it's been a, both of our worst performances against Norwich and then against Wolves. So going attacking against Manchester City might be a bit of a uh, <laughs> might be a bit stupid to be honest with you but at the same time I'm not looking to come out here for a draw or a nil nil or anything I do want the win um, but obviously against Manchester City it's going to be incredibly difficult and if we end up getting beat we end up getting beat let's kick off first highlight of the game it's a corner for us Lucas Torreira plays it in it's cleared by the Man City defence but David Luiz keeps the ball alive back out to Torreira who gives it away and now the pace of Raheem Sterling is going to really cause us some problems on this left-hand side. Sergio Aguero plays it through. Sterling's in the box and he goes for goal. And that should have been 1-0 at Manchester City. We've got to be very, very wary of their counter-attacks. The pace that they've got in the wings, particularly with Raheem Sterling, is going to cause us problems all game, I would imagine. Second highlight of the game now. It's us not playing the ball about so well at the back. So I'm a little bit worried. I hope Burnley Leno just gets rid of this, to be quite honest with you. But it's going to, this is going to be a mistake. You can just smell it. There we go. Sergio Aguero in behind. That you could tell straight away within as soon as the highlights started. That was going to be a Manchester City opportunity. De Bruyne plays in the corner. It's cleared by Guendouzi. We're going to go to a more balanced approach 10 minutes in. Things haven't exactly started electric for us. Um, they are definitely dominating the match stats as things stand. They're in a more positive team mentality which is fine. I don't really want to match them right now. I could go on the counter. But I think balanced should see us uh, at least try to get into this game a little bit more in terms of possession and things like that. As we nick the ball off Manchester City in the midfield and Aubameyang is all by himself in the box. It was like five Man City defenders and, and Edison to beat. So would have been a hell of a goal. Another highlight now, Burn Leno with a big kick up for Nicolas Pepe on the right hand side. He's got a couple of men in the box but he goes back to Lucas Torreira and Gwen Doozy. They are closing us down pretty quick, so we'll have to be clever with the ball. And he finds Kolasinac on this left-hand side, tries to get the ball in. Joe Cancelo blocks and Man City could counter here. We do end up pinching the ball back and Gwen Doozy finds Pepe again on this right-hand side. Goal challenge by Angelino to keep him out, but he gets the ball in. Mesut Ozil with a header. He's <laughs> when have you ever seen Mesut Ozil score a header? Particularly one like that when he was under duress. I've never seen it, but we've seen it here today. Nicholas Pepe does well to get the ball in with his weaker foot. And Mesut Ozil rises higher than Gundogan. And he gets us the 1-0 up half an hour in. Absolutely fantastic. 37 minutes in now. There is another highlight. It's Man City on the attack this time with Aguero on the right-hand side. The ball's played in. Socrates can clear. But they've got a lot of space on that right-hand side with Angelino. 
Sterling, come on, somebody get the challenge in. De Bruyne on the edge. It comes down to Joe Cancelo. And that was a goal all day, completely unmarked. All the time in the world, in the box of Man City. Level things up in the 38th minute. And there it is, half time. Um, a decent first half by us. They haven't dominated us as much as I thought. I am going to drop uh, Klasnach back into the left back spot. And I am tempted. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stick with the two strikers. We are going to change the opposition instructions. Uh, we'll ask our assistants. We want to tight mark uh, Raheem Sterling. Pressing intensity. I want to get him marked pretty um, severely by Malqui on that uh, our right back spot. He is definitely running the game for them. Despite his low average rating. Um, it's all coming down that left hand side. As there is another highlight from the left hand side. And Raheem Sterling goes for goal. Thankfully his finishing isn't the best. But that was a good save by Bernd Leno. Another highlight now, 55 minutes in, it's Man City once again on the attack with Bernardo Silva playing it about absolutely beautifully in the centre of the park. Angelino receives the ball on the left-hand side, he whips it in, it's cleared by David Luiz, Gundogan will go and counter. <laughs> As you can see by Bernd Leno's uh, match rating, he really is keeping us in this right now. Kolasinac is struggling a little bit out there, um, we might have to take, I think we'll do it now. We'll take him off for um, Kieran Tierney. Just to freshen Kolasinac's legs, he's been the one who's been most tied in most games, but we haven't had the opportunity to take him off in any of them. As there is another highlight in one, Zhao Concello drives, don't let him get the second goal of the game, thank God for that. 15 minutes to go, it is all Man City at the minute. Savage plays the ball to Zhao Cancelo on the right hand side, they've just got so many attacking options. Gabriel Jesus finds Aguero on the box, decent block, can we get rid or can we break Lacazette? receives the ball and drives down that left hand side this is exactly what we want him to do but he needs support he finds Nicholas Pepe in the box and Edison with a decent save Pepe keeps it in tries to get the ball in Savage clears and a good good counter counter attacking opportunity for us there highlight now again for Manchester City Sergio Aguero drives that over defence goes for goal and hits the side netting 10 minutes to go we really do want to show things up in the centre so we're going to get Gwen Doozy off and bring on Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield we'll keep him as a box to box um, but he's a little bit more talented in the defensive area. And I think that's the only change we're going to make. Our bench isn't particularly strong looking at it right now. But with only three minutes to go, a 1-1 draw away from home against Man City will be a big result for us. And the time ticks away and there it is. Full time. Man City won. Arsenal won. A very, very good performance by us. Despite Man City dominating, we've managed to come out of that with a point, which is absolutely fantastic. Mesut Ozil getting his first goal of the season is a good thing too. He's performing pretty well. In behind the strikers we do drop from the top spot though as west ham won liverpool won and did sheffield united win as well they did so they all go above us but we're still in a good position still unbeaten only one of four teams unbeaten so far in the first five games our next game is against dynamo uh, moscow will dynamo moscow dynamo cave have, have i been saying moscow i think i have it's not moscow uh i'll see you there so we are at the dynamo game and we are looking to make some slight changes to the starting eleven just to help keep the rotation going and keep it will fit. <coughs> Leno will start in goal. I don't feel the need to start Emiliano Martinez. He doesn't really have the potential to grow. So he's a very firmly just our backup keeper. Malqui is going to drop to the bench. And Callum Chambers is going to come in at that right back spot. Socrates and David Luiz remain is the, as our centre backs. Uh, Thomas Partey comes in for Guendouzi. And Lucas Torreira moves himself forward to the central midfield spot. Kalasinac is going to come out and we're going to start Kieran Tini. Uh, it is recommended only 45 minutes of action, but I think we can play a little bit fast and loose with that. We've got Nicholas Pepe on that right-hand side, of course. Mesut Ozil in behind Aubameyang and Lacazette. We don't really have the strength in depth to be able to rotate those options just at the moment. And in terms of their starting lineup, do I recognise anybody? Uh, not really. Livakovic, goalkeeper, he's decent. Orsic, he's a decent left-winger. Um, but we should have enough to be able to get past this Dynamo side. So let's kick off. First highlight of the game is one minute in. David Luiz with a free kick. It is cleared by the Dynamo defence. Lacazette, can he keep hold of the ball? He does and finds Lucas Torreira. Who, why is David Luiz out at right wing? I have no idea. But Lucas Torreira goes for goal. And it goes just wide. Another highlight now. Kieran Tini on this left hand side. The ball finds its way to Aubameyang in the box. And Leivakovic with a decent save. I didn't even see Danny Olmo in the centre of midfield. How did I not see Danny Olmo? Oh, we could sign for Arsenal in January. Maybe. Nicholas Pepe on the right hand side. Drives into the box. Goes for goal. And goes wide. 18 minutes in now. Terrell with a free kick. It's played. That's a penalty ref. That is a penalty. It's a VR. It is not Nicholas Pepe. 
steps up to take Arsenal's penalty 19 minutes in and we go 1-0 up. That's exactly what we needed. I was a little bit worried there that we were creating opportunities but not taking them and it might have been one of them games. You know what kind of game I'm talking about. But Pepe slots away the penalty coolly, calmly and we go 1-0 up. Another highlight now, Lucas Torreira with the corner. It's claimed by the keeper. The highlight continues though. Aubameyang finds Lucas Torreira in the centre of midfield. Pepe coming down this right-hand side. A lot of our players coming down and through Pepe. And Lacazette goes for goal, hits the bar. Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield finds Lucas Torreira. Some nice little play between them and Ozil. And Aubameyang gets his eighth goal of the season. Another assist for Nicolas Pepe. And we go 2-0 up 37 minutes in. Some nice little play interplay here we'll see in the centre of the park between Ozil and Torreira. Thomas Partey finding Torreira. Torreira with a little flick to Ozil. A nice ball over the top. Pepe with a header. And Aubameyang makes sure. Three minutes to go till half time. And maybe Dynamo might get back into this with a corner. And I mean... Uh, <laughs> Leno, what was that? <laughs> Let's say that again. Come on, football manager. Who is it? I don't even know who it is. But Leno comes out for the ball. And he just completely flaps at it. I have no idea why he's done that. He's, he's a very, very good goalkeeper going by his attributes. And he's just had a great game against Manchester City. But he's cost us there. Now it is half time. Arsenal 2, Dynamo 1. We'll kick off for the second half. We will look to take Kieran Tierney off straight away. And we'll get Kalasnach on in his place. Uh, the last thing we need is another long-term in injury for Kieran Tierney. We need the good rotation options, particularly for our wing-backs. And yeah, let's see how the second half goes. Another highlight now. Nicolas Pepe on the right-hand side finds Chambers. The ball's played in but cleared. Torreira spreads the play out to Callum Chambers on this right-hand side. Pepe switches it to Lacazette. The ball's played in. It's cleared only as far as Ozil. Who can find Kalasnach on this left-hand side. Gets past his man. Goes for goal. And another save for the Dynamo keeper. And with only 10 minutes or so to go, 2-1 is not a comfortable scoreline at all. We'll get Callum Chambers off. We'll bring on Kevin Malqui. And um, we'll take Nicholas Pepe off. We'll get Rhys Nelson on. Get him some game time. And save Pepe's legs a little bit. He has been the star of the show for us so far in this game. So hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. Rhys Nelson picks up the ball after a defensive win. And Aubameyang finds it in the box. Can he get the ball in? He can. Kalasnach is there. And again, it's another opportunity that goes begging. And with only a few minutes remaining in the match, there is another highlight. 91 minutes in. Kalasnach gets dispossessed by Hazrovic. And he gets into goal. Leno... With a very, very good save. Probably saving us with the three points there after his earlier mistake. Kalasnach now on the left-hand side. Plays the ball in. It's cleared. 30 seconds remain. This is probably a nothing highlight. But it comes back out to Kalasnach on the left-hand side. Can he get the ball in? No, he can't. Excellent challenge by Theophile Catherine. And that's going to be it for full time. Uh, a decent performance, but a disappointing result. I know it's a three points, but only winning this game 2-1 is a little bit disappointing particularly with the opportunities that we did have but we've won it's three points in the europa league group stage campaign it's a competition that i would really like to get far in but if we end up slipping up a little bit it's something i'm not too concerned about they do the board do expect us to reach the final in that competition but it is only a preferred importance whereas the premier league is a required for qualification for the europa league so that's where the majority of our attention this season will go towards Looking forward to the next episode. I think it's going to be another Europa League game against Feyenoord away from home and then Liverpool away from home, which is likely to be a major contender for the title come the end of the season. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.